Hi, I'm Chair. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on rum and cocktails. Today, we are going to make the Hemingway Daiquiri. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. In either case, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing here. As always, the timestamps are down below in the description if you want to skip right to the recipe. Otherwise, here's some history. What people refer to as a Hemingway daiquiri is a daiquiri that uses a little bit of grapefruit juice and some cherry liqueur in replacement of the simple syrup or sugar that's in a normal daiquiri. It is called a Hemingway daiquiri because it is based on the daiquiri number no. three from La Floridita. La Floridita was a hangout place for Ernest Hemingway and the daiquiri number no. three was rumored to be one of its favorites because it had less sugar. There are two major differences between the daiquiri number no. three and the Hemingway daiquiri. The daiquiri number no. three used it as snow ice, which gave it a consistency like a snow cone, and it also had a little bit of sugar in it, while most modern interpretations of the Hemingway daiquiri do not include any additional sugar. If you look up recipes for the Hemingway daiquiri online, you'll find that the proportions for the ingredients vary wildly from recipe to recipe. Lime juice is usually around half to three quarters ounces of lime juice. Rum is about one and a half to two ounces of rum. Cherry liqueur is about a quarter of an ounce up to one full ounce, while grapefruit juice is from a quarter ounce up to one and a half ounces. So I figure as long as you have those four ingredients and you shake it up and pour it into a coupe like a regular daiquiri, you've got yourself a Hemingway daiquiri. Also note that some recipes online have a simple syrup or sugar in there to sweeten this, because without that, the cherry liqueur does not sweeten it that much. And personally, I like mine a little bit sweeter, so I'm going to put some simple syrup in mine. As for the rum, some recipes specify a rum agricole, some specify a Spanish style rum, some specify a Cuban style rum. Most will agree that a white rum is the kind of rum that you want. So I figure as long as you have a white rum in it, you're good to go. Having said all that, let's make my version of the Hemingway daiquiri. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my simple syrup and I'm just going to put one quarter ounce of simple syrup in there. And one quarter ounce is 7.5 milliliters. And this is a one-to-one -one simple syrup, and I use cane sugar. Lime juice. I'm going to put in a half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Half an ounce is 15 milliliters. Half an ounce of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Half an ounce again, 15 milliliters. One quarter ounce of cherry liqueur. One quarter ounce, 7.5 milliliters. Then two ounces of rum. Two ounces is 60 milliliters. Add your ice and shake. Glass is going to be a coupe and this time I am going to double strain and that's because I didn't pre-strain my grapefruit juice. Normally with my daiquiris I like to single strain. Finally, the garnish. A lot of recipes online say that there is no garnish, but some say a lime wheel. Some also say a sprig of mint, which might be really nice. Today I'm going to use the lime wheel. And there you have it, Hemingway da Daiquiri. Oh, drink with good spirits.